From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Some advice for you. You know, um, we get calls from people all the time who say they're dating someone who wants to move in. Of course, they not only want to move in, ultimately they want to get married. And um, a number of you have seen the error of your ways. A number of you have seen what a bad idea that is. But there's no better way to... Keep your girlfriend from moving into your place than by making your place absolutely unappealing to females. And it is something I have consciously done over the years. Make your place purposely unappealing. There are various ways to do this. One. Decor. Your decor is early dorm room. It's flat screen TVs. It's an Xbox. Or PlayStation. Or both. It's 17 remote controls sitting on the coffee table. It's colors chicks hate. Brown. <laughs> black, anything dark. The idea being that it is just not a comfortable place to be. Uh, for an example, look at the movie Knocked Up. Remember the home where Seth Rogen's character lived with all his roommates? That's what your place should look like. Posters of concerts, posters of hot chicks, Models, cars, model airplanes, uh, evidence of uh, being a sports fan, okay? Logos of your favorite college team, logos of your favorite pro teams. You don't want to make your place into a place that a chick can imagine moving in. Furniture, don't spend a lot of money. Dark colors, <laughs> Nothing appealing, nothing attractive. Appealing to a guy. Something a guy would find comfortable and lived in. None of those rooms, you ever go to somebody's home and they've got a room that you can't use? Like one of those living rooms, it's like a museum. My mom had a living room where she had a sofa with slip covers on it, plastic slip covers. If you did go into the room, you had to sit on those plastic slip covers and in the summertime you would stick to that sofa. Frilly curtains. Forget all that. You don't have frilly anything. You've got blackout shades. Right? Maybe you leave the bong out on the coffee table. She might as well know what she's getting herself into. Now, what a lot of guys do is they try to make their home uh, friendly to women in, a, in, a, in a, uh, attempts to attract them in. So they try to have food that chicks like and wine that chicks like and, you know, drinks that chicks like. You know what? Don't put that in your home. Yet You don't want to make your home a comfortable place for her to be because ultimately you don't want her living in it and you don't want her coming home to your home all the time. You see what I'm saying? The last thing you want is her to want to spend weekends at your place. <laughs> Let's just stay in. We'll order out. You want your place to be so unfriendly to chicks that she would never want to do that. If she wants to have a place where you can stay for the weekend, let, let it be her place, but not your place. You have to make your place unappealing. That means you don't have any yogurt in the refrigerator. You don't have any pink wines in the refrigerator. No rosé, sorry. No white Zinfandel. It's booze, it's beer, it's big beers, you know, stouts and porters and IPAs and uh, beers that are, you know, over the top. No light beer. 
you want your place to be a place that's your place, that looks like your place, that looks like you. You know, when people come into my home, my home is very tastefully done, but I want to tell you something. It's clearly a guy place. The colors, the lighting, the furniture, it's a guy place. This is not a place your girlfriend wants to move in. This is not a place someone wants to marry you and move in. This is the kind of place where if a woman is dating you, she's saying, well, if I ever live, moved in with you, we'd have to find another place. That's the kind of place you want to live. You can't be making the place comfortable to women because, and, and by the way, this is no knock on women. I mean, this is just for guys who want to live alone, don't want anybody moving in with them. You can't make your home friendly to visitors. You can't make your home such that a woman would say, it's so cute. Oh, I would put my cat over here and I could put my collection of Smurf collectibles over here. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that. You have to essentially chick-proof your place. Now, I know there are also many ladies listening to the program who are saying, what's he talking about? Have you ever gone to a guy's place where you looked around and you said, I could never live here. I could never live in this place. It's either A, dark, B, painted dark color, C, has dark furniture, D, uh, it has uh, just a slight amount of trash around there. Not so much you think the guy's a total skank. But enough that you think to yourself, oh, my God, this guy's going to need a nanny. You've been to places like that, right? Ladies, how many times have you been to a guy's house? You go to the house, and the place is an absolute mess. Well, the place just looks like a place you wouldn't want to live. You know, three different women I've dated have told me that if I... <laughs> first of all, I did not want to move in with these three. Okay. Three different women told me that if we were going to live together, I was going to have to sell my house. And that's how I knew I was doing it right. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm selling my house. But I don't have to tell them that until I've already had my way with them, if you know what I mean. So I'm just curious, have you, um, have you uh, chick-proofed your house, guys? And ladies, do you know a guy like this? Is your boyfriend like this? Is your fiancé like this? Have you thought about this stuff? I've got to know. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Like is show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom with shorter commercial breaks. At the fastest pace we've ever had in all my years of doing this. For God's sake, it's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Max on the Tom Like is show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Oh my God, Dad! You gave me the best advice two years ago. Girl proof my my condo. Yeah. I changed that thing into a sports center. She tried to come over. The first time she came over, it was, uh, you know, a decent place. You know, I had the curtains, had everything going on. She said, oh, my God, I can do this, I can do that. I called you, talked to you, and you told me, biggest mistake you're going to do is let her come over. That was number one. Number two, giving her a king. Changed the lock, changed everything in my place. Made it into a sports center. I made, I put my uh, Michael Jordan T-shirt up, my uh, Kareem I put my Steve Garvey baseball mid into a, literally a sports center, so nowhere it would be anything like a girl, a girl can be in there. I changed my bed lining into gold and purple, Laker colors. <laughs> never stepped, she never stepped another foot in my place again. Got rid of her ass. Did, she, did one, she continue to see you after that, or that was it? Oh, that was it. She says, oh, if we're going to work on this relationship, we've got to do something about your place. I said, uh uh-uh. uh. No one touches my place. This is my sanctuary. You don't come in. I go to your place. You don't come to my place. And she's like, well, it ain't going to work out. Kicked it to the curve. <laughs> Kicked it to the curve. I see that. Oh, man, I loved it. Man, Dad, that was the greatest advice you ever given. And, and for all those listeners out there that doesn't believe it works, it does. And do you get, do I get killed all the time? All the time. And you don't have to bring them to your place. Go back to their place. 
get what you want from them. Once you're done, you leave. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> Good for you. Hey, Jack, can you take me out Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're beats in my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. I'm telling you how to girl proof your house. And ladies, I'm trying to find out if you've ever been to a house like this. This is Jan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Jan. I love you. First Ooh. of all, um, I have two things to say. The first one is, in a perfect world, that would be great. But unfortunately, the kind of guys who are so pussified that they're in danger of having the girls move in with them are the kind that wouldn't have an apartment looking like that. Like, if they're already, you know, uh, if they're already cool enough to have a place look like a dormitory, they're probably not the kind of guys that are going to be all, you know, whipped. Well, I, that's why I'm telling guys, you know, if you haven't uh, made your place like this, make a conscious effort to have that happen. Yeah, unfortunately, like, for example, I have a lot of male friends, and there's one in particular who's with this totally horrible green card seeking, you know what, and uh, she, uh, I, I couldn't talk him out of anything, even though he's being treated like absolute garbage. Anyway, my second point was, uh, I used to have a boyfriend who wanted to move in with me, and I have a really, really messy house, and I had a horrible roommate and everything, and he still, he was like all, oh, but you need to be taken care of, I'll clean up for you, I'll keep but nice if I lived here. And I was all like, well, yeah, but you can't afford to pay half the mortgage for your rent, so uh, I can't afford it. <laughs> you don't want me to be supporting you, do you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you take me out? Do you have an, have an Andrea Yates style? Oh, it's an old one. Let me see if we still have that one in the file. because She's uh, my favorite. Oh, yeah, we had that one. We played that one for many years, Andrea Yates uh, style. And I'm willing to bet most people don't even remember who Andrea Yates was. <laughs> Well, I personally think abortion should be legal through the age of 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> so I th I'd like to say she was an advocate of that idea. I yes. Suppose. Yeah, well, uh, rather than abort them uh, pre-birth, she just, uh, you know, uh, drowned them afterwards. Yeah, like kittens. Yeah, because she didn't believe in abortion. That's right. But I don't think we have it. I don't think it made the trip with us over from uh, Westwood One to CBS. So wish I could help out, but we can't. Uh, we'll look for it, though. one eight hundred five eight hundred tom That's our telephone number. <laughs> no, that's not it. Isn't that Michael Vick style? I think so. one eight hundred five eight hundred tom I, Of course, we don't know what it's called. It can be called anything. A.Y. style. <laughs> Here comes Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Great. You know, this is the way it looks like for me to keep chicks away from my house. Um, cold all the time. Cold in the winter, cold in the summer. Air conditioning in the summer and no heat in the winter. Chicks can't handle it. Yeah, if you can't see the nips, nope. the temperature is not, it's not nippy enough. That's, that's it, and they can't handle it. They're, like, freezing, and I said, let's get out of here then. Let's go to your house. <laughs> Good idea. Works me every time. Hey, man, take me out old school and really old school. Old school and really old school. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Danielle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm just not really agreeing with what they're saying about women wanting to move in with men. What about the men? I want to move in with the women. Well, I mean, uh, I, I imagine there are ways you could uh, prevent that from happening as well. And how is that? Because there are a lot of sorry men out here that, you know, we just want to have sex with men, too, sometimes. And they move in. We don't be one that. Well, one way to do it is to tell these guys they're going to have to pay half of everything. They start off by paying the first month in advance. Uh, well... I just don't totally agree with... Because I think most guys who want to move in, in most guys are, uh, who want to move in are trying to save money, not because <laughs> of love. Women be wanting to move in to save money, too. Have you ever thought about that? I understand that, but there are ways to do it, uh, and I'm a guy, and I've done them. 
I mean, do you have any suggestions for how to how to keep guys out? Um, maybe we should start listening to you too and keep our house dirty. <laughs> 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 keep no food in the fridge. Uh, start doing nasty things to make a man not want to stick around. Maybe. I mean, if you had no flat screen TVs, that'd be one way to keep guys out. I imagine. No, because then he's just going to come there to sleep, and then he's going to leave to go to his friend's house to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so. If you're lucky, he'll be out all the time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. one eight hundred five eight hundred 800 tom That's our telephone number. Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Dad? Not much, son. All right, well... You know, I, I, I follow most of your rules. One rule I don't follow is I actually do bring women home to my house. Um, but I do make it as uncomfortable as possible. I have no chairs in my house. I have no food in my fridge. I have uh, sports figures on my wall, even though I don't like sports. I have uh, uh, toys in my room, even though I don't like toys. I make it the most immature, uncomfortable place so that when we're done with our business, we leave the house. <laughs> And, you know, what? it works. You know, they come and they ask, they say, you know, they look at my toys and say, oh, you collect toys? And I say, yeah, I, I, I like toys. I collect a lot of toys, you know, or, or uh, I love sports. I, I spend almost all my free time watching sports, and they cannot stand it. So, By the way, I have got the ultimate. I've got the ultimate, but it has to be for a guy who is handy. So for the first guy who like likes to do things with his own hands, likes to build, I've got the ultimate solution. But I'm going to wait till that guy calls in. <laughs> I'm sure I can probably guess somewhat what it is, but I'll let him uh, take care of and it. And tell me what you think it is. It's just leaving tools around the house? Oh, no, 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 over? no. I'm talking about building something. Oh, building something. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be listening. Hopefully somebody calls in with something good. All right, Mark. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Rebecca on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Good. So I was dating this guy for about three to four months, and I was living with him. Off and on, um, but then he relocated to a new apartment, and it was filthy. I mean, he wasn't even there for a week. He had dishes piled up. He had clothes. He had socks. He had underwear and female underwears as well. So, really? Yeah, I def no, go ahead. No, go ahead. I <laughs> so I definitely didn't want to stay there. Definitely didn't want to do that. It was just disgusting. And Look, he wasn't looks like, there, like he looks like he did it right. <laughs> Absolutely. And I had talked to the guy that um, answered the phone, and I was talking to him about my current boyfriend. I've been with him for nine months and never once have been to his house. <laughs> He's never once asked me to go to his house. I've asked him about it, and it's just an argument. He just does, says he doesn't bring random females. And I'm like, I've been with you for nine months. Well, you know, why he, doesn't bring random. Random, you know why he doesn't like to bring random females home? His wife doesn't appreciate it. And... <laughs> Probably. You're probably right, Tom. You're probably <laughs> right. <laughs> Anytime I never brought women home, <laughs> nine times out of ten, there was a female living in my place. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably absolutely right, Tom. <laughs> you don't want to come to my place. Oh, you don't want to come to my place. Oh, it's a mess. My place is a mess. That's what he says, and his kids make it a mess. This is the best one. His oh, kids. he has kids. Yeah, he has kids. Well, there's a mother to those kids. <laughs> Somewhere. Probably, <laughs> probably li living there. You're probably, probably living right, right there. <laughs> You're probably right. Well, it was awesome but, talking But to does you. that stop you from dating him? Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> the sex is awesome. I will not deny it. The sex there we is go. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So it's fine. She can deal with everything else. I'll just take the sex and I'll be fine. We can argue about it, but the makeup sex is awesome. Married, has <laughs> kids, probably not getting any at home. <laughs> so it's all good. Sounds good to me, Rebecca. <laughs> all right, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Pete on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. Good. Hey, first time caller. I just got a little story for you about the transformation of an apartment. Yeah. I was living alone, and I had in my apartment a love seat, a coffee table, a television. Uh, I had one plate, one spoon, one glass, one fork, uh, everything just one. In my refrigerator, I had uh, some beer, some ketchup, marinara sauce, and the cabinets, I had spaghetti. <laughs> okay. My, my, my woman tricked me into moving in with her, and uh, they moved in one day. 
I was at work going to Mother Moon, and I walked into the apartment. I had a full-on living room set, complete bedroom set. My cabinets were filled with food. My refrigerator had no room in it. I had to step back out and look at the number on the apartment, make sure I was in the right apartment. <laughs> total transformation. <laughs> and you let it happen. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, with that woman I've been married with for 20 years now, but uh, that, but back then she told me uh, I was trying to get out of get her out of where she was moving. She said, "Well, I could move in with this guy, but I don't think you'd like me moving in with another guy." So she kind of, you know, made me feel like I said, "Okay, ah, you know." Move in with me. A couple of years later, she told me the guy she was talking about was me. And she knew I would say, you know, no, don't move in with somebody else. Move in with me. And she just kind of, and the rest is history. Just, so she manipulated you into it. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> I don't regret it now. But, I, you know, you're talking about bachelor patch transformed into households, you might say. And uh, I was a total transformation. Boy, it sounds like it. Um, like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 8600. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show with shorter commercial breaks than we've ever had before. Also, more calls. We take them faster. Your chance of getting in better. Chance of hearing more and more voices on the air. Improved. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. How do you keep chicks from wanting to move into your place? And ladies, have you ever dealt with a guy like this who's made his place so unfriendly? You said, ew, not moving in with you. Mara on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you, Tom? Great. Um, I just wanted to talk about the fact that, um, it, okay, the, there is a whole moving in, how to keep guys out, how to keep girls in. But what if you do move in? I just hope people understand the fact that that's when financial stuff come in and they shouldn't move in unless they're po positive, like very sure that it's going to work out. Even like maybe like when they're engaged or about to get married, that's when you move in, move in together to kind of learn each other's um, living habits. But uh, That is if you insist on getting married, which I recommend to the guys that they not do. Um. Well, I'm not insisting anything, but I'm just saying if you're going to move in with somebody, be sure your relationship isn't going to tear because of the finances. And because that's a great way to break up, and you can't recover from that some sometimes. By, by, the, by the way, I don't think you should try to uh, uh, stop that. I think you should let nature, nature take its course. I think if you move in with somebody and you have fights over the finances, good thing you found out about it now. I mean, that's true, but, you know, I just think, I mean, my boyfriend's clean. He's not bad at all. I'm clean myself, but I think if we moved in together and we fought about uh, finances, it would cause me a lot of pain, and I'll be like, oh, I would be so disappointed that it ended because of that. And but I wouldn't, wouldn't you want to know? Yeah, I guess I would. I mean, what's the point of dragging this out? Yeah, you're very right, but I mean, there's we're both in school right now, so if we were sure that our finances would be good when we got married and that's when our career took off, then that would change. By the way, my by the way, wouldn't you want to wait until your career took off to have a serious relationship? Yeah, for sure. Well, then why do you have one now? Because my boyfriend's almost done with school; his career is already done. And but yours I'm, isn't. I'm sorry. But but yours isn't. Mine isn't, but to me, I can handle it. Um, no, no, but no, no, get, no, no. You think you can handle it? I don't even think my my relationship is serious to the point of engagement. Even we're just you're talking together. about moving in with him. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. You've talked about it. Well, no, because I'm moving to San Diego for school, and we have talked about it sometimes. But he won't even think about moving there because it's so expensive. And besides, uh, doesn't he want to get his career going? Yeah, and exactly. He's promised a teaching job here, so he doesn't want to just give that up and move to San Diego with me. This will never survive. I know. <laughs> It'll take care of itself. I know. Right? Right, exactly. You're right. All right, Mara. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Renee on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi, I just wanted to first say that I absolutely love you, and I think you're, like, one of the smartest men that I've ever heard or sort of, 
you know, met. But anyways, I was calling um, regarding the move in thing. I think it's on my end, it's a little bit reversed um, if you're talking in terms of um, men coming over to your place and um, you making it friendly or them not wanting to leave. You know, I have my own place, I actually own my own condo, and um, I've dated a few guys that are just sort of what you would consider an average guy, um, and they either may not have their place or they have their place, but they would prefer being at your place and lounging there, and I have a hard time having them to leave and wanting to come over more frequently more frequently than I would desire for them to come over. Well, you can do something that the guys can't get away with. You could just say, I don't have anyone over to my place, that's it, and let the guys uh, take it or leave it. Yeah, because I find that when I'm dating guys, and I mean, I've dated other guys, well, men rather, that um, were in a position where they didn't really need to come to my place. I mean, they had fabulous big homes, and so I end up being at their place, but the guys that tend to want to lounge at my place are the guys who sort of are either equal or maybe they place isn't as comfortable as mine, or they just feel I live in a better place like a um the area or 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 um something of that kind so i find the reverse but it's not always that um us females are just desiring to spend time and move in with other guys because i feel the opposite i really don't feel comfortable being at their place as well as being at my place yes yeah, but like for me over the last eight years since i got divorced i don't think i've dated a woman who has a place as nice as mine yeah. Do you know how many times I was in bed with somebody and it's the middle of the night and they like the temperature warmer than I do and their <laughs> bed's not as comfortable as mine? Well, I have a comfortable bed and you would like it, but anyway. Really? Let's make yeah. an appointment. Yeah, it's a nice bed, but you know, I, you know, mm. and, and and also on a, another note, I wanted to compliment you on. I loved how you covered the e e election coverage on last Tuesday. I think you did a fabulous job. Thank you for that, Renee. I really appreciate the call. I really do. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? First I'm okay. Time. Thank you. Man, so uh, I think I, I want to answer your, uh, you said for the guy who's handy. I know what I did. I'm kind of handy. I built a stripper pole in my room. <laughs> you know what? I have a strip pole in my uh, bathroom, my master bathroom, uh -huh. and it's from the previous administration. <laughs> and I decided I'm not taking this down. Yeah, and I is. left it up. And, of course, every woman who comes in is convinced that every woman, first of all, that there's a stream of women coming in and out, and... That every one of them gets up on the pole. Exactly. And many of them have gotten on the pole. And the ones who don't want to get on, I say, well, that's fine. Then, you know, those who want to do it, do it. And those who don't, don't. And, of course, then these women uh, realize they're in competition. <laughs> that mini bar right next to the stripper pole doesn't hurt either. <laughs> yeah. I actually have a, uh, I have a bar next to my bed with an, un with an under-the-bar sub-zero refrigerator. Nice. And it's uh, just five steps from the stripper pole. Uh, I'm after life. I'm a, one day, Tom. One day. Work on that, Aaron. All right, man. Take care. Thanks for the call. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how's it going? Okay. Uh, first time caller, you know, uh, talking about uh, repulsing, basically repulsing women away from your house. Yes. Uh, I got. I got a lot of really, uh, you know, I'm kind of a geek. I got a lot of immature stuff. I got my, you know, my toys on my uh, computer desk. I got my Xbox, my PlayStation 3, uh, movie posters on the wall, alien, Dark Knight stuff. You know, it's, it's for me. It's not for anybody else. I love I like that. The way I got well, it what up. you do is get the, the, the posters of the raunchiest comedies come out in the last 20, 30 years. You know, you could have uh, old school wedding crashers, any Van Wilder movie. <laughs> <laughs> some, uh, some Animal House, American Pie. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, uh, I like your show. You're a great guy. Uh, can you blow me up? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> Tina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. 
Love your show. Listen every day. I just tuned in, so I don't know exactly what the topic was about, but I know it has something to do with when you move in with a guy and his house is repulsive. Right. And I don't know if this is kind of what the conversation is, but I moved in with a guy. I was there for about a month, and he has three kids. And I've got three as well. And he decided he wasn't going to ever do housework. He's never had to do it his entire life. So basically, I was the maid for six kids and three dogs. <laughs> Unbelievable. Darling, there's that? no free he lunch. You moved in and he would wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. He was paying the mortgage, right? He was paying the mortgage, correct? All right, so there's but... no free lunch, darling. Well, I paid for all the rest of the stuff. I paid for all the house bills, all the groceries, everything for the house. That's still so. not as much as the utilities, the mortgage, the gas and electric, whatever. I mean, come on. That's true. That's why I decided that I'm just living alone. That's actually my second experience with living with a boyfriend. Um, and both of them just went total disasters. So for me to have my own place, my own rules, my own cleaning habits, that's just the best way to go. Well, I agree with you. Thanks, Tom. Tina, thank you for the call. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood, California. As opposed to Hollywood, Florida, or some of the other Hollywoods out there, Planet Hollywood. Any of those left? Just barely. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. How do you keep chicks from moving into your place, guys? And ladies, have you ever dealt with a guy like that? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Joey on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Joey. Hey, How's it going, Tom? Hey, it's going hey. great. Great, great. Two two things. I have a I have a nice loft here in downtown LA, right? It's set up real nice. You know, you know, it looks real nice. Uh and I don't think that you don't have you have to be uh messy. You don't have to have a messy place for people to not want to stay. You just have to be an a hole. You know, you just have to know how to tell people to get out when you want them to. I well, the, well the thing is never let them move in. Oh yeah, that well, like the last few cars that called in saying that, you know, that women didn't want to stay with them. I don't think it's because they're consciously trying to drive people away with a messy place. They probably can't help being messy. They can't afford furniture, and they don't know about good food, and they can't get a woman to stay even if they wanted to. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm telling guys what, what other guys do by accident. You should do intentionally. Make your place unappealing yeah. to women. Yeah. Well, I have a I have a friend of mine whose place is one of the most unfriendly places. I mean, it's it's pretty ugly. And uh, he can't get women to leave because he's just too nice. Now, that's bad. Donald on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. It's Donald. Hey. How's it going? Great. Um, what, what I do to keep women away is I have – there's two things I do, really. One is I have cats. And what I do is if I know they're not coming is I purposely – I keep my place nice. I don't keep my place a mess like the callers. But when girls are coming over, I just don't clean my cat's litter box. <laughs> really? Yeah. And then when they come over, like, I could tell they smell. And I know it's, I mean, I could tell they smell it. And I just pretend, like, nonchalant. Like, I don't even notice it. And then I'll just kind of hint to it and be like, oh, sorry if it smells a little bit. You know, I haven't got around to cleaning my cat's litter box. <laughs> <laughs> and then after a while, yeah, I, I could tell they, they're kind of, you know, they kind of don't like it. And it leaves them with a bad taste in their mouth when they leave. And they'll go, oh, I don't want to back in it and go back there again, you know. Oh, man. But besides that, I keep my place pretty clean, you know. But, I, but that's, that's what I do right there because myself, I like to keep my place clean. So I, I don't go to, like... A messy place, but that seems to work for me. Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here's Rachel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Um, long time, uh, first time. Thank you. I just gotta say, I have the best story for you. Okay. One night stand with this guy. I go to use the bathroom, and there's already a used condom in the toilet. So obviously that's a turn off because obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you were at you were at the other end of a double shift. Yep, I sure was. 
<laughs> and to top it off, there was a window that you could see what the person was doing while they were using the restroom. You could look in. Now, you see, that was what I was going to suggest to someone who's handy, to put a glass wall in the bathroom right next to the toilet. I stayed at a hotel in New York called the Hudson. Huh. And uh, the Hudson Hotel is supposed to be one of these boutique hotels. You know, where it's seven hundred dollars a night, and the rooms are tiny, and the furniture is uncomfortable, and right. these ro these rooms had a glass wall, so you could see someone sitting their hairy ass down on the toilet, <laughs> right to the glass, and, and and the woman I was with at the time said to me, "This you have to be really secure in your relationship to stay at this hotel with a guy." <laughs> uh, what a perfect idea. Just just yep. uh, just glass and close your toilet. Yep. Then you no. just say, Oh, you know, my architect did that. I my designer was here. Isn't that great? <laughs> All right, thanks, Tom. Thank you. you. Uh yes, yes, I can blow you up. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, that's our telephone number. Here comes Andrew on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how's it going? It's going great. Hey, Tom, so uh, what I would do, and I lived in a, in a decent neighborhood, but uh, that was something personally I enjoy that. But uh, So what I did was I left a nice 30-gallon show tank in the entryway that was visible from the kitchen and the couches and everything with half filled, been in there for probably six months with dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> I've dated a few dead fish, but I've never actually put any around my place. It was good. They didn't even know how to take it. They it, 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 so I'd walk around the house. Next thing you know, I went into the uh, take them into the master, and I mounted uh, handlebars to the headboard. <laughs> Had the Snoopy Bell and the tassels hanging off too. It was the miniature Snoopy Bell. <laughs> you really worked at this. That was good stuff. Yeah, you know, you got to keep them guessing. You got to keep them wondering. It kept my house to me, and uh, it was a beautiful thing. I love that. It's Daniel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Pop? Not much, son. Hey, well, I got two good ways to get rid of them, all right? All right. I, uh, I, play, I play in a band. I play percussion. I play the drums, you know? And I love music. You know, after, after we do the dirty deed or whatever, I like to I like to listen to music really loud, and I have a collection of DVDs, you know, Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, you know, Metallica, all this heavy stuff. After we're done, I pop on a DVD and blast it to the max. <laughs> <laughs> now that reminds me, I dated a chick one time from Latin America. I'm just going to say she's from Latin America, <laughs> who, who would not leave my place, and and she wanted to cause an incident. Like she wanted nine one one go. She wanted the neighbors uh, to get involved. She just total drama. Oh, what a bitch! And I realized that there's one thing that women from Latin America hate more than anything: rock music. <laughs> I, oh, Jesus. If you want to alienate a woman from Latin America, all you do is turn on, like, your favorite alternative rock station. Uh -huh. And you blast a little Rage Against the Machine, or you blast, uh, you know, whatever is hot right now. Yeah. I mean, they even hate Weezer. I mean, they, they, it doesn't even have to be that hard. Yeah, they, they can't take it down there, you know? They you just really blast that. I'm telling you, this chick, it, <laughs> it, <laughs> it was like when they play classical music when people are holding people hostage to try to get them to come oh, yeah, out. Yeah, Shut yeah. up! <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, hey, you want to hear the second way? Yes. Let's say, let's say they actually spend the night over, all right? Yes. I have my drum set set right next to my bed. Right next to my bed. <laughs> like, and, you know, I like, I like to wake up. You know, I put my, I put my, my headphones on, my, my, you know, my earplugs or whatever. I, I, I'm not going to listen really that, that loud. But to see your face wake up, Tom, when you... Bump the, the the bass drum right in her face. God. <laughs> and I mean, even if she gets up to tell me to stop, I mean, I'm going to play for at least 20 minutes. Just straight. Just straight. Just straight. She, no. thought it, she thought it was cool that you were a musician. <laughs> and she, yeah, she thought, right? She thought. She thought the job stopped at night. That's what she thought. Oh, man. Hey, but listen, Tom, you, you, so I know you live around Hollywood, man. And uh, on the 22nd, me, me and my band are going to play at the Knitting Factory, man, at 1030. If you want to shoot down, we'll have a few beers or whatever. Listen to some tunes, all right? All right. Another big invitation. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is James on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Father, I love you, and you've changed my life. Thank you. I've been listening listen to you for uh, about since 97, and uh, I pulled a dump that bitch, grew a pair, 
and the last 10 years of my life have been spectacular, Father. Love that. Love hearing that. I built a ramp into the front double door, put in double doors in the front of the house, got the Harleys parked in the living room, got the pool table off to the side. The living room's actually a stage with a full band set up, 5,000 watts of PA, and uh, it has worked wonders for all kinds of fun you can imagine for the last 10 years. <laughs> and uh, there, i got to disagree with you on one thing, is that there are two types of women that want to move in. Women that have absolutely nothing and want you to pay for everything, and uh, strippers without a job. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the same uh, group, or some of them are members of both. Yeah, yeah, but uh, hey, you changed my life forever. I, I, I grew a set. Uh, about, it took me about a year and a half to transition my life, and I've been having a great time. I, I turned 40, found a, a beautiful, beautiful uh, woman from uh, from Europe, uh, 26 year old. She's gorgeous. We just got married. My house hasn't changed. She's cool with it. She likes it. She does her thing. I do mine, and we're we're very happy. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Cool boy, Brent. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. How are you? Great. Hey, I uh, just calling in. I got the total house set up exactly the way it should be. The black leather, the big uh, black entertainment center, 52-inch uh, flat screen, uh, portraits of uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, the whole you know Italian mobster stuff on the up, <laughs> up on the mantel. Ah, uh, big poster of Goodfellas up there. You know exactly, and then the uh, Sopranos in the bathroom. <laughs> And then to beat that, I got a, I had a carport that needed a reconstruction, so I'm a union carpenter. I went out there, I put a uh, seven foot elevated putting green up there. <laughs> it's got the hole that lines in. You, I piped it so it rolls backwards. Once you hit it in, it's totally lazy golf. I put glory hole on the front. Looks like a charm. <laughs> Thank you for that, Brent. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com It's the Tom Likas Show.